the cat down. Hi everyone, I am, oh, I have a couple things to explain. Number one, these glasses are, I don't know what the word is, there's something about them that makes it so that your eyes don't hurt when you're staring at a screen a lot, and I've been editing a lot more, and also, I've been writing a lot more with my brother, because my brother had shingles, and now he's getting better, and so he's my writing partner, and so we've started writing together again, and so I've been staring at a screen all day, and it's starting to hurt my eyes. So, I don't need glasses, I, love glasses. I think anyone who wears glasses is literally the cutest person in the world. Like, I'm so, I just, I think people in glasses are so cute. But anyway, I was telling Eric that my eyes were hurting from staring at the screen, and he's like, oh, I have these glasses that help. They have something in them that makes it so that your eyes don't hurt when you're looking at a screen. And so that's what these are. This shirt is my merch, but it's not. So this was what the merch originally, the Theater Kids shirt originally looked like, and I got the sample, and I love this color blue. It's so pretty. But I didn't like the couldn't really see the E and the A in Theater Kid. We tried it on a few different colors and I really liked this blue, but I was like, what if we did it on black? Like Theater Kids um, wear black a lot, especially crew kids. And everyone can wear black, like it's universal and not everyone would like this blue, but like anyone can wear the color black and also it'll make the Theater Kid pop. And so I just wanted to try it on the black and then when I got it, I was like, <laughs> love the black. But my theater kid black sweatshirt is uh, dirty and so is my California hoodie because I'm messy but I also have a toddler and I hold my toddler a lot and he's always covered in food. I can't wear a hoodie over and over again like most people can because it instantly gets covered in food. So my California hoodie is covered in food and my theater kid uh, crew neck is covered in cat hair and food and so that's why I'm wearing the blue one today. So this is not available to you but the black one is and I think the black one's way better. But if you guys like this one, let me know because if this merch launch goes well that we launched yesterday, then hopefully I get to do another launch someday. <laughs> and I'm trying to come up with fun stuff that you guys might like. And if you guys are like, wait, we really like the blue theater kid hoodie, or if you want it in a different color or you want something totally different, let me know because I want you guys to like it. It's for you. And I think that might be something fun that we could do together for the next launch if we do another one. I want you guys to be involved and I want you to tell me what you want. So tell me what you want, y'all. It's Saturday, we're gonna have a nice relaxing day as a family. I look very tired because I am very tired. I was up late last night. Cause that's what I do every night. I stay awake and I stress and I have anxiety. <gasps> okay, I'm going downstairs. <gasps> Ooh, there's a squirrel. Look, look. There's a squirrel outside. Do you see the squirrel? Bye-bye, <laughs> squirrel. We are gonna have a picnic today for no reason other than we're bored out of our minds. Today in Los Angeles, the mayor was like, so we have to do everything we can to keep each other safe because our numbers are skyrocketing and we have more numbers than anywhere else in the United States because we're an embarrassing bunch of narcissistic people who all think that we're gonna affect other people, we don't care about other people's lives apparently, and no one's wearing a mask when they go out and everyone's just out and not social distancing. But we have not left our house uh, except for essential items since the beginning of March. And we're going to continue to do so until it is safe. Moving on. We are gonna have a picnic, but we're gonna do it in the house. It's very, very hot outside. And there are bees and things and bugs and that's not my jam. And so we're going to have a picnic in the house, but looking outside at the squirrels and the bugs. So we have a picnic basket. I'm gonna fill it up. I need to make Flynn a little PB&J and some little snacks. So let's do this. Put it in here. These are your grapes. You want to put these in here? Oh, one nana. One nana. Yeah, you got your nana. This is your sandwich. And we're gonna put this in there too. Watch this. 
Here's your napkin. We're gonna close it and we're gonna carry this around and go bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, let's go. Go on a picnic. We're gonna walk to our picnic. Did he poop again? I smell something stinky. Here's ours. Cute. Wait, I need a root beer. <gasps> you already got my root beer? Oh, you're the best. All right, we gotta go on a walk, Flynn. First of all, why? 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 I got my basket. You got yours. Flynn. Why are you in that box, Daisy? Let's go. We're gonna go on a walk. Come on. Good job. All right, let's go to the park. Do 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 do. Come on. Come on. We've got to go find the blankie to sit on. Can you find the blankie? This looks like a nice place for a picnic. <laughs> He's leaving. What? I think he thinks it's a suitcase and he's seen mom and dad leave with a suitcase. What? Love, look, he thinks he's going somewhere. Come on, we're gonna go over here. Can you get your basket? Good job, baby. Bye. Bye. Is it kind of hard to carry? It's kind of heavy, huh? Right Good job. Come over to Dada. We're gonna open it together. Here we go. This is our picnic blanket. We're outside here, like, we're Yeah, maybe we'll go. We're gonna, maybe we'll take it outside and we'll just deal with the heat. Let's go. All right, get our blanket. Let's go outside for a picnic. Good job, Lynn. Open this up and see what's inside. Okay, go. Here. What's in this one? Thank you. This is the spicy Italian. How's the PB&J? Is it good? Come on over, kids. Whoa, she's sloppy today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Oh, thank you for my hug. It's been like 10 minutes. That was incredible. All right, and it's over. We got a 10 minute picnic, love. That's an incredible for a toddler. That. We're done with our picnic, but Flynn is now playing with a bucket of water. It's his favorite toy. Oh gosh, he got this lens real dirty, didn't he? I might tie-dye some merch today because that's part of the reason I wanted all my merch white was so that people had the option to dye it whatever color they wanted and have a craft because you guys have seen me in the vlogs tie-dyeing and doing weird crafts and cooking and all stuff. So I was like, oh, it would be fun if the merch was like interactive. So I think I'm gonna color in my coloring book page shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm going to um, tie-dye a shirt maybe today. I only have one of each size and I ordered more, so hopefully when I get the new stuff, I'll really go to town. I actually did buy one in more in every size, so. Wow! Wow! Anyway, all right, we're gonna keep uh, playing with water and hanging out outside, it's nice. You're at the farm. <laughs> you bought Yeah, what do you see? Look out. Yeah. Do you see the black box? What's that? Oh. Okay. Black box. Black box. Oh. You see the black box? Oh. You want to go see the moo moo? You want to go see the cow and the goats and the sheep? What do you see? Me. Oh, you're so cuddly today. Daddy and I are gonna make lasagna. So we're getting some fresh veggies and fruit at the local farm, supporting our local farmers, and also social distancing, because it's outside. Yeah, it's 
The prom was lovely. We have decided to go to Santa Barbara tomorrow to go to the beach and enjoy the sunshine and family. We had so much fun the last time we went. We took like, it's like a little mini vacation. People go to Santa Barbara for a vacation all the time. They also have way less cases in Santa Barbara than they do in Los Angeles. And people are much more respectful of social distancing. As far as I know, when we went to the beach, there was like nobody there. So we were very safely enjoying ourselves in the sand and everyone was like so freaking far away from us we didn't come closer than like 50 yards from anyone else so we feel safe there and it's fun for flynn to run around grandma and grandpa's house so that's the plan tomorrow i'm very excited to do another little road trip i'm going on vacation i'm gonna go we make a lasagna up in here we are making lasagna, but I'm just using the recipe on the back of the box. I, fun fact, this actually isn't a fun fact, it's just a fact. I used to hate lasagna, hated it. Every time I had it, which was twice in my childhood, both times I barfed after. My grandma made me lasagna twice as a kid, and both times I ended up vomiting. Why are we making it then? I like it now as an adult. I'm saying I was like scarred from it my whole life. I was like, I hate lasagna. And then as an adult, I started eating it, and I was like, oh wait, this is really actually delicious. So anyway. We're just gonna use the recipe on the back of the box, nothing fancy. Oh, we're wearing matching aprons. Flynn's playing with Dardars. Date night. All right, lovey, it's set. Can you use your new pan? Sure. In a large skillet, heat olive oil and brown meat until cooked thorough. We're going to have the recipe because there's only two of us and this makes a butt ton of lasagna. In a bowl, combine ricotta, two cups of mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese. Stir well. Gotta do that. Lasagna. We're tired. It's much later than we thought. We started making it and then stopped making it and put Flynn to bed and now it's much later and then we finished making it. It's like 10 times it. Probably 10. 10 11. 10 11. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Did any of you yawn? Be honest. Hello, y'all. It's 12.30 p.m. Or yes, I mean a.m. Oh, God. Well, I'm not stupid. It is 12.30 in the morning. I am very sleepy, which is a good thing because I'm never sleepy at night. The fact that I'm tired right now and not, like, hyped up to work is really weird. And I want to take advantage of it because maybe I can get my sleep trap. Tra What's going on? <laughs> my sleep schedule. I couldn't remember the word. That was really weird. I literally was all sleep trip trip. Why did I do that? Maybe I can get my sleep schedule back on track if I go to bed earlier than I usually do. I'm so tired. What is going on? Like, I'm glad, but like, it's weird. So, anyway, today was a really lovely day. It was just like a nice day at home with the boys. Like, I mean, every day is <laughs> for the last four months. But today in particular, I tried my hardest to not work at all today. I uploaded my vlog earlier in the day than I usually do today. And I just tried to get it out of the way so that I could just fully focus on just family. And I tried not to look at my phone very much and just played with Flynn and hung out with Eric. And the best part of the day, I didn't film. Period. That was chunky. I taste the lasagna. Gross. Best part of the day, I did not film. I was just like very much in the moment and enjoying it. But Eric and I wanted to wash the car because we're going tomorrow to Santa Barbara. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. We wanted the car to be clean and ready for that. And so to entertain Flynn, we put a bucket of water um, right next to the car where we were. So I was watching Flynn and kind of helping Eric when he needed help as he cleaned out the car. And Flynn was so cute. He had a little cup and he'd take a cup of water from the big bucket of water and he would pour it on each flower it's the whole front yard any flower any grass any weed he made sure every single leaf got their own cup of flower like own cup of water what's wrong with me <laughs> why am i doing why don't i know words tonight what is going on am i having a stroke i don't know if that's insensitive to say to people who actually have strokes but like i always hear that like how that works is you Anyway, this is so weird. What I'm trying to say is that he was so sweet because he wanted to make sure every plant, every flower, every leaf had their own cup of water poured on them. So he did it for like 30 minutes. It was so cute. And then Eric started washing the outside of the car and using rags and stuff. And Flynn got a little rag and came and stood next to Eric and washed the car with Eric for like 30 
minutes and he was so sweet and so helpful and just like quiet and really focused on like helping and like scrubbing the tires and scrubbing the sides of the car and he was just like it was so cute he's so sweet He's just the sweetest little guy. Anyway, it was a really lovely afternoon. Like I've never in my life been like, what a wonderful afternoon washing the car. <laughs> but it really was. Then we made lasagna and we watched a movie and now we're both really tired. So yeah, I think I'm gonna upload this footage and I'm going to go to bed, which is shocking. But anyway, tomorrow maybe we will be doing a fun, that again, did I just say re-reel? What is wrong with me? Tomorrow we will hopefully be going on a fun road trip to Santa Barbara. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope I'm okay. Like what is wrong with me that like, my words aren't working? And my nose is itching. What's going on? I love you. Bye.